Hey, what's up, guys? Today is August 24. It's a Saturday. So, I was reviewing one of my old videos of my lawn. And I wanted to share how I got how I got it to make it look like this okay and since I was watching it I remembered oh I had a magic formula so I went to the basement and I found it yeah right here so this is what I used back in the days when I was so crazy about lawns I don't remember what this product is anymore. What's this? Four dry ounce. And then I made a funnel. Yeah, right there. And then there's like a... What's this thing? Oh my god. Oh, there you go. It is... What's that? Sodium... L'Oreal sulfate powder. All right, so five pounds still heavy. There's still got a lot there And then I've got something underneath it. What is this thing? Kelp for less. All right, this is dirty and then this is gone What is this? Humic acid And then maybe this funnel is for the humic acid yeah, it is. It's dark, okay? I don't want to bring it out because it's dirty. And then what else? Do we have anything here? Oh, print out. What's this? Talk to Kevin. Maybe my office mate. I don't know. Maybe a different Kevin from an online. Yeah. So, this is the instruction. Alright. Okay. What's this? Best lawn kelp. Four ounce of kelp extract. Well, I don't have that anymore. Right? This is not kelp. I don't know what kelp is. I don't remember. Four ounce of kelp extract and then one gallon of water. And then to improve the dirt or the soil, so there you go, it's a soil conditioner. Five ounces of SS SLS powder, yeah, which is this. Yeah, five ounce. So, yeah, guys, so I'm gonna use this, but this is from so many years ago. When was this? Oh, 2011. So I was so crazy about lawns in 2011. Actually, start I started in 2007. I moved here in. Oh, there you go. What's this? Is this the kelp extract? Includes kelp. Yeah. I don't know if this is a... I don't want to use this. I remember I bought this in Lowe's. Yeah, I don't want to use this. I'm going to buy a new one. And then this, what's this? Oh, there you go. Kelp for less. How to mix. There you go. These are... It contains instruction. Yay! It's here, guys. My magic potion for for achieving this lawn let's see and I got 47,000 views 11 years ago yeah yeah there you go guys this is in 2013 I guess yeah 2013 is it yeah it's in 2013 but I've been doing this magic potion since 2011 yeah Let's forward it. So beautiful. So thick. Yeah. Look at that, guys. I've got, I can tell I've got a bad mower blade. And that's happening now because it's so, it's not sharp anymore. So I've got to, I've got to sharpen it. Yeah, I don't know how I got to 47,000 guys. I don't know what I was doing back then. Now I'm getting like four views, one view. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not, I'm not using this as my source of income. I have a, 
I have a, an external company, you know. I mean, I work for a company. So that's my source of income. Yeah. I'm just using YouTube to share my, share whatever I know. So that you guys can also learn. And I, I learned this thing from folks at aroundtheyard.com. But I think that site is dead. Yeah, look at this. It's so freaking beautiful. Yeah, there you go, guys. So, again, yeah, that's the magic potion. <laughs> I'm going to use it. But before that, because it's ending summer, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this soon. Um, before the weed seeds starts germinating. So, it's perfect time to drop this today. It's color yellow. It's chemical. It's used for preventing... Um, weed seeds from germinating and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put like maybe 1.5 teaspoons of this granules uh, and mix it with a one gallon of water and then the next application is when like maybe two weeks before for sitia plants blooms or there is a site that I use where I check the soil temperature um, we must apply uh, pre-emergence when it's like 51, when soil temp is 51 degrees Fahrenheit. Because at 55 degrees Fahrenheit, that's when um, seeds will germinate. That's warm for seeds. That's a perfect um, heaven for, for any seeds to germinate. Yeah, I'm gonna use this maybe tonight. Hopefully, I'm gonna clean up the the sprayer. I'm actually thinking of buying a sprayer, uh, backpack uh, version, and maybe a 24 volts rated instead of pumping it. So every time you spray and then you lose air, you have to pump it. I'm thinking of just buying a battery based sprayer. Yeah. So this is really good. So I'm gonna, and then uh, this is so old. I've had this since like 2013, maybe. Yeah, because no, 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 2009 because I renovated my my front yard. Um, because that's like four years old. The one that you saw, that's four years old. Uh, 2009, 2013. Yeah. So I renovated the front lawn in 2009. And then I bought this for sure because I wanted to make sure that, that there won't be any other weeds that will be sprouting. Yeah, this is quite expensive. And I have another product which I believe I mentioned in part 4. It is the Tenacity. Um, used for post-emergent. Um, also, you have to um, spray directly on weeds yeah it doesn't hurt the grass though especially for turf type tall fescue and kentucky bluegrass but i think turf type tall fescue um, grass is more um is, is more stronger than kbg it won't actually hurt it yeah so i'm referring to the tenacity product small one is like seventy dollars but it takes a while before you will finish it maybe that thing that size will take like five years yeah or maybe more yeah i had to give some to my friends yeah this one as well we had to divide it by three yeah i gave them yeah guardrail and it's about like there, maybe there's one inch left i don't know if we can see it though no, we can't see it from... It's opaque. I thought it was kind of like translucent that we might see the light. Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, alrighty guys, just wanted to share. Alright, later.